Okay guys, so in the last video we have discussed about how to draw your shear force diagram and bending moment diagram uh, for a simply supported beam where your beam is subjected to a point load. Okay, and in this video we will discuss about how to draw your bending moment and shear force diagram for a beam for a simply supported beam which is uh, subjected to your UDL. Okay, let's say uh, you have a simply supported beam, this one. Okay and this is subjected to your UDL like this and the total length of the uh, beam is L okay and the magnitude of this UDL is W per unit length okay and here we will consider a section let's say this is support A and this is support B okay, and we will consider a section at a distance of x okay from A. And here is the section. So, what is the equation for your shear force and bending moment? Of course, first, what you have to do, you have to separate the left portion of this section, you know that, and the free body diagram of the left portion is coming like this. Okay, so let's say this is the beam okay and this beam is of length x and we have cut the section here in red color and what are the forces acting on this part of this beam the UDL for length x okay and also the reaction here this one is the reaction now what is the value of this reaction of course from symmetry total is load is acting on this beam w l okay or w capital l and from symmetry we can say that r a that is equals with w l by 2 and r b same w l by 2 okay so the external reaction is coming on this section okay this is W L by 2 and the UDL is acting W okay and what are the forces acting on this section you know first one is axial force NX and then the shear force okay that is let's say VX and finally the bending moment that is MX and here there is no horizontal load so you can simply ignore this axial force okay and we will consider a point here point o about this point o the moment is zero summation of moment is zero because this whole system is in equilibrium so of course this particular part of this beam is also in equilibrium clear so moment is zero and you know the total force acting on vertical direction is also zero because it is in equilibrium and it is not moving towards right towards up or down there is no movement clear so what are the equations so first let me write down the equation for summation of vertical forces is equal to zero and here we will consider the upward force as positive okay and that gives us that wl by 2 okay wl by 2 this is positive and minus applied load that is w times x okay because w is the unit load so here the total length is x so it is wx and we have considered the shear force acting upward okay so this is positive vx is equal to 0 and it will give us vx as your uh, wx minus wl by 2 okay this is the equation for shear force at any section of the beam okay now let's derive the equation for bending moment okay for that we will take moment about point o here you can see okay so this equation will give us that moment due to this reaction this is positive we will consider everything 
clockwise as positive okay so w l by 2 times x this is positive okay because about this point this reaction is causing clockwise rotation and due to this external load w the resultant is acting here and the resultant is w x and it is acting at a distance of x by 2 from this point okay and it is creating anti clockwise rotation okay it is acting downward this is the point so it is creating some anti clockwise rotation so it is negative and we have already considered our moment mx as clockwise so it is positive okay and uh, vx cannot produce any moment because this is passing through this point now it is zero and it will give us mx as here you can see w x square by 2 okay minus yes w x w l x by 2 this is the equation for bending moment at any section of this beam okay so we have got the equation for shear force as well as bending moment okay now it is everything okay so our beam was this one this one was our beam the free body diagram is like this and it is subjected to your udl like this okay the length was l and this was support a this is b and the intensity w per unit length okay so first we will try to draw the shear force diagram okay the shear force diagram okay so this is point a and along this x axis we will consider the length of the beam and along this y direction we will try to put the magnitude of the shear force okay so to find the and we have considered a section like this okay so our section was measured from a at a distance of x okay so to get the shear force at point a what is the value the shear force the shear force bx okay so bx instead of bx we should write a ba so ba is shear force when x is equal to 0 okay that means here x is 0 and we are getting bx as minus w l by 2 okay so our assumption was that this was the section okay and this was the reaction and we assumed that our shear force is acting like this okay but this is not true actually this is coming as negative so our shear force is actually acting like this okay and you know about this point it is creating some clockwise rotation so this shear force is positive and you know that from this one we take the value and from this actual drawing we take the sign okay so here this is positive so in this direction and the value is w l by 2 okay and at b what is the shear force to get the shear force at b vb what we have to do we have to apply x is equal to l okay because from this point to b the distance is l and vb is coming as plus w l by 2 that means our assumption we assume that to derive this equation to derive this equation we assume that shear force is acting like this it was correct okay so the value is w l by 2 we have got the value and from this actual picture we can see that this shear force is trying to 
rotate this element anti-clockwise about this point so this is negative so it is negative and the value is wl by 2 and from this equation you can see that vx is a function of x linear function okay so this is like this and where it is 0 in this equation if you put x is equal to l by 2 you will get uh, let me erase all these things okay so in this equation if you put a, l is x is equal to l by 2 your vx is coming as w l by 2 minus w l by 2 that is 0 so this is l by 2 okay this is positive this is negative and we have completed the shear force diagram for this beam for this particular loading type now it's time to draw the bending moment diagram okay we will draw the bending moment diagram now bmd okay so remove everything for related to your shear force okay and in this cross section we have considered to derive the equation the bending moment is actually acting like this clockwise okay and so this was our assumption now put one by one at x is equal to 0 mx is coming as 0 simply put the value of x in this equation okay so this is a this is b okay so at a this is 0 okay and if we put x is equal to l in that case also mx is coming as uh, wl square by 2 minus wl square by 2 that is also 0 so at b also it is 0 okay and in the middle we can say at x is equal to l by 2 mx is coming as w l square by uh, 4 times 8 minus w l square by 4 that gives you uh, minus w l square by 8 and we will take the only the magnitude okay what is the sign well our sign convention was this one but it is actually coming as negative so our assumption was wrong so it is actually acting uh, like this okay that means if this is fixed the support is holding this end so this one is this moment is trying to bend your beam like this okay and you know this is similar to your smiley face and you have already learned if there is a smiley face this is positive if there is a sad face this is negative so here the sign is positive okay so in positive this is coming as w l square by 8 this is positive okay so you have got the value at the middle also and at the end also now the question is how it varies from this point sorry uh, from this point from support a to this okay rather it should be at the middle this should be at the middle okay if this is the middle at l by 2 here is the w l square by 4 okay sorry w l square by 8 this is w l square by 8 now how it varies from this point to this point or to this point to this point okay from this equation you can see that moment is varying parabolically this is a function of f x square okay now the parabola may be uh, this one this is also a parabola this is also a parabola okay this one is parabola or maybe this one 
this is also a parabola okay now the question is which one is correct this red one or this yellow one okay which one is correct how to answer this question well to answer this question uh, we have to go back some formulas what was that that is you have learned that uh, d m d x is what is that repeat with me yes shear force okay so that means the slope of the bending moment diagram or b m d is proportional with your shear force that means if shear force increase the slope dm dx also increase if shear force decrease the slope or dm dx also decrease okay so now you have already the shear force diagram this one now from here you can see that it is decreasing from w l by 2 to 0 then from 0 to again this is decreasing minus w l by 2 so from this point to this point it has continually has decreased so the slope of dm dx should be decreased and here you can see that if we consider the yellow one this is the slope this is the slope this is the slope it is continuously increasing okay but if we consider this one initially it was the slope then this is the slope and here it is zero it is horizontal no slope so correct one is this one okay yellow one is not correct let me erase this one so you have got the concept how to draw the bending moment diagram for uh, a simply supported beam which is under the action of UDL okay and you have also fixed out the curvature properly through this concept that is dm dx is equal to v okay and that's it in the next video i will discuss about the sft and bmd of a cantilever beam subjected to partial UDL load okay